Meghan Markle's intimate moments with the royal family revealed from Kate Middleton to the Queen. There's no denying the Duchess of Sussex has formed a close bond with her in-laws. Since she married Prince Harry on 19 May, the former actress has immersed herself into royal life. Shortly after royal wedding, Meghan embarked on her first ever solo visit with the Queen and it was clear for the world to see that the Duchess has forged a warm relationship with the British monarch. Meghan reflected their friendship in a BBC interview after her engagement to Prince Harry, it's incredible to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honour and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. She's an incredible woman. And on Monday at the Commonwealth Day service, Meghan appeared to be in great form as she kissed her sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge, on both cheeks. Despite the pair previously sharing warm embraces, the sign of affection was the most public show of adoration ever witnessed between the two royals certainly a well-timed display of unity. A short while later, the pair were seen chatting away as they stood near the entrance of Westminster Abbey with their husbands, Prince Harry and Prince William. Meghan was also seen greeting Prince William in a sweet way. The pair shared a kiss on the cheek before the Queen made her entrance at the traditional service. It's no secret that Meghan and Prince Charles are close. The first in line walked the former actress down the aisle on her wedding day to Prince Harry in May after her father was unable to attend the ceremony. And this week, at the Commonwealth Day service, the Duchess performed the perfect curtsy as she greeted her father-in-law, they later shared a joke between themselves. The Duchess of Cornwall Meghan was also seen hugging the Duchess of Cornwall upon her arrival. The two are clearly on good terms as in December, Camilla's son Tom Parker Bowles described Meghan as a wonderful person and revealed she should carry on what she's doing. The comments come after Piers Morgan asked him if he had any advice for the expectant royal, who is currently getting used to a new way of living. I think she's wonderful, replied the food writer. How could I give advice about that? I think she should carry on what she's doing. Prince Charles and Camilla Both Charles and Camilla appeared to be in great spirits as they chatted to Meghan at Charles' pre-70th birthday celebrations in the grounds of Buckingham Palace last summer. The trio laughed with one another as Harry gave a speech about his dad. The birthday party marked the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's first joint engagement as a married couple and the Duchess first as a member of the royal family. Trooping the Kalur both Meghan and Harry enjoyed a joke with Prince Charles on the balcony at Buckingham Palace during Trooping the Kalur. Last year's event took part just weeks after the Grand Royal Wedding. The Queen and Meghan's first joint outing on their own together in Cheshire will likely be remembered for images such as this one the monarch and the former actress laughing and enjoying themselves at every turn. After travelling by train overnight together from London, the royal pair opened the new Mercy Gateway Bridge and visited the Story House and Town Hall. Following Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Banks' wedding ceremony, both Harry and Meghan entertained the Queen on the steps of St. George's Chapel in Windsor. During Princess Eugenie's wedding, Meghan was seen engaging in a light-hearted chat with Harry's Aunt Princess Anne. The hand gestures and laughter were a mystery at the time but now, after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's pregnancy announcement, it seems the pair may have been talking about the new royal baby. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.